This is uh, just a short video for those of you who uh, are uh, looking to replace uh, one of the spring-loaded spool pins on a Bernina uh, 1130, 1230, uh, uh, that era machine, late 80s, uh, early 90s type stuff. Anyway, uh, this machine came to me with a uh, the uh, little spring-loaded telescoping uh, center core of the thing must have been bent somewhere in the past and it was pushed down and so it won't extend when I take the case off. So I've ordered a replacement and the replacement I ordered is uh, uh, Genuine Bernina and it includes the little, uh, the little uh, spring clip uh, that holds it in place. And anyway, I'm just going to cover uh, how I got this loose, and I'll just show you the steps. It's uh, You have to be very careful with this cover. Uh, if you take a look, you see, uh, see this gizmo right here. Anyway, there are uh, some capture nuts that hide in little recesses on these uh, panels when you remove them. There are uh, there are other videos uh, showing panel removal on these machines, so I'm not going to go into it. But I'm going to tell you right now, be really careful uh, when you're taking these things apart. Uh, because, uh, like for instance, on this machine, this plastic uh, uh, member here was broken. And... Uh, so I repaired it with super glue and it looks like it's holding fine. It's not really under a whole lot of stress, but you don't want that bottom panel uh, to be pulling out on you or anything like that. And you also do not want one of these little uh, uh, M4 uh, capture nuts rolling around on the inside of your machine. So, uh, the uh, uh, removing the panels, again, I'm not going to cover it. But there are three screws uh, coming in from the bottom, two into the side one here, and then one into the one into the uh, back of the machine. And just for for reference sake, they aren't the same length. The ones that come in from the bottom, this is the short one, and there are two short ones, and then there's this longer one. The longer one goes into the bottom hole that is closest to the front of the machine. So just remember that. Okay, anyway, I don't want to dawdle on this. Basically, the thing that I want to do is show you how to, how to get this loose. And anyway, it's not easy. I, at first of all, the reason I'm telling you all this is because the first time I tried this, I just tried to like tap this up a little bit to make it slide with a hammer. And I ended up uh, having parts flying off of here. Uh, you have the uh, on off, on off switch. You have the thread cutter that slides in here. And then you have this apparatus down here which slides off it's this little cover that covers the capture nut anyway you will have stuff flying off of here so even after you get this cover loose from the machine uh be careful with it because you may end up having stuff fly off which you don't want uh this is the uh this is the sequence of events i used what I did is I took an old gasket scraper uh, chisel like this. It's, it's necessarily sharper on the end. You want to get something that's pretty sharp to get underneath and get started. But what you do is very gently, very gently put the sharp edge in here and then work it back and forth very gently get it loosened up a little bit and then you can turn the entire spool and do it again just like that and then also 
what you can do to help loosen it up is take a long, uh, thin, flat-bladed screwdriver. I'm going to show you. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. Okay, you can put the screwdriver in like this into these little fingers, these little spring-loaded tangs that capture that thread. You can put it in there and then come at it from an angle and kind of pry them out gently. Just like this, grab a hold of it, and then you can spin it and get to the next one and pry the next one up. Get your little pry bar in there and it will finally work its way off. Twist it. There. there. Okay, so you can see how I've got it worked off. And then we'll just pop it off. That comes off. And then the post slides out and it's a real tight fit, so you want to just work it loose until you get it to pop out of that hole. Also, the two there are two little plastic uh, uh, cover discs that I took off. Now, I have the new one, and I'll come back and I'll show you how I'll attach that spring. Okay. Here's the new one. And we're just going to slide it into the hole until it seats. Like that. So it's seated. Then we're going to take this little disc and the uh, convex portion faces down concave, uh, the, the dish part, the, the, the any goes up on the shaft like that. So we put it up, we put it up on the shaft like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little tool here. Let's size this. I'm just going to use a deep well socket. Okay, and then just push it. Just like that. Use a little bit of Use a little bit of hand strength, and this pushes this pushes on the uh, outer edge of that little uh, spring capture nut there, and, and then you can just wiggle it on while holding this shaft in while holding the shaft in place, and voila, we're done. Anyway, the key to this one removing it is patience. Just use that uh, use that gasket scraper or chisel uh, bit. Get the sharp point in and just slowly work it. Spin it with the flat bladed screwdriver like I showed you, and you will be able to get it to move and come off without breaking the plastic. And that's what you're trying to avoid is is uh, breaking the plastic. I'm just doing this for people who have got a busted pin and wanna get it replaced. Okay, there you go.